Hello and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and today's tip is all about Drop Zone 4. Drop Zone 4 is a utility application for the Mac and it lives in your menu bar, making it like many other apps, small but mighty. Drop Zone is available through Setup, so if you already have a Setup subscription, it's included there. You can also get Drop Zone 4 on the Mac App Store as a free app with an optional in-app purchase of $1.99 a month. Drop Zone 3 is also available on the Mac App Store. There are some differences between Drop Zone 3 and Drop Zone 4, primarily the user interface. That said, if you're still using Drop Zone 3, I'm sure you'll still find many useful tips and tricks that you can take back with you. So let's dive into Drop Zone. I've just started Drop Zone here from Setup, and the first thing it's asking me to do is to add a login item. A login item just means that whenever I start my Mac or log into this user, then it will automatically start Drop Zone for me. This is very useful and means that Drop Zone will always be at my beck and call waiting to do my bidding. So I'm going to add that login item. Next, Drop Zone pops up with a fabulous little mini tutorial showing me all of the amazing and wonderful things it can do so that I can make the most of it. I would encourage you to go through the tutorial, but I'm going to just start using Drop Zone and give you a Screencast Online tutorial. I'm going to start by going ahead and opening Drop Zone up in my menu bar. That's this little box with a down arrow inside of it. Now I've opened it, I have a quick preview of a few of the things that I can do with Drop Zone. These are the default actions. So at the very top, I have a plus where I could go ahead and add an action. We'll come back to that in a moment. I also have the option to hide this top row here. So if I just want to focus on the folders, apps, and actions that I can do, that's possible as well. I'm going to reopen that. Next over, we have the settings, where I can jump into all of the fun details. We'll come back to those in a bit. Our next option is to add to grid. And just like the plus in the top left, this allows me to add a variety of actions to the grid, such as messages. Next, I have a drop bar. The drop bar is like a temporary storage space so that I can just leave files here and then grab them out and put them somewhere else later, especially handy while I'm creating these other actions. I'm going to go ahead and grab a file from Finder and put it in the drop bar to show you what that does. Here in my downloads folder, I have Net Newswire a very handy application, which we recently did a tutorial on. If I just grab this and go up, you can see that Drop Zone already has a lovely target ready for me to drop something into. If I just move NetNewsWire into here, then I can drop it into the drop bar. The first time that I do this, Drop Zone is going to need me to give it access to the folder that this is from. I'll just click OK here. And now when I open up Drop Zone, I have NetNewsWire. But if I look down in my downloads folder, it's still there. This is essentially a quick reference so that then should I go ahead and open a new finder window. Then once I pop back over into the drop zone and open that, I can actually drag and drop this over here. Now, if I look back in my downloads folder, it's gone. Back in drop zone, we have folders and apps. And inside of folders, I have my downloads folder. I'm just going to click on this to open my downloads folder and I'm going to drag Net Newswire out onto my desktop just for demonstration purposes. So let's go ahead and drag Net Newswire into here and put it in downloads. As you can see, it's moved my file, but let's take a look. Back down in my dock, it's in downloads. Wonderful. I'll just reopen Drop Zone. You could add any folder or application along here for places where you frequently like to move files or indeed any application that you frequently like to open files in. So you may want to add BB Edit here, allowing you to, of course, quickly open any file in BB Edit just by dragging it onto here, whether or not BB Edit is already open and in your doc. You can add folders and even more. Let's take a look at the actions next. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week. 
as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.